Sam is studying in Winterfell's library when Queen Daenerys Targaryen and Esser Jorah Mormont come to visit him. Daenerys thanks the man that saved Jorah's life from Grayscale and asks if she can offer him anything in return. Sam requests a pardon for stealing books from the Citadel, as well as, borrowing, his family's sword, Heartsbane. Hearing this, Daenerys realizes that Sam is the son of Randall Tarly and informs him that his father refused to bend the knee and was executed. Sam is shaken by the news of his father's death, but jokes that at least his brother will allow him to return to Horn Hill. When Daenerys reveals that Dickon was also executed, however, Sam is visibly upset and chokes back some tears. He then asks to leave the library to gather his composure. Outside, Sam sees Bran Stark and asks why he's in the courtyard. Bran states he's waiting for an old friend and reminds him it is time to tell John the truth about his parents. He then says that Sam must be the one to tell John because John trusts him more than anyone. Sam finds John by himself in the crypts of Winterfell. He confronts John about the death of his father and brother, asking if he would have done the same thing in Daenerys's position. He then tells John about the diary entry he found from High Septon Maynard stating that he annulled the marriage between Rhaegar Targaryen and Elia Martell, that Rhaegar then married Lyanna Stark and that John was their true-born son, all of which Bran confirmed using his green sight. John, visibly shocked at the revelation, says that Ned Stark is the most honorable man he has ever known and cannot believe that Ned would have lied to him his whole life. Sam reminds John that Ned lied to protect him from Robert Baratheon, who would have killed him if he ever found out the truth of John's parentage. Sam goes on to state that John is the rightful heir to the Iron Throne, and asks rhetorically whether Daenerys would give up her crown to save her people as he did. The next day, Sam and John welcome the arrival of Ed, Beric Dondarrion and Tormund to Winterfell, who inform the two that Last Hearth has fallen to the White Walkers, and that they'll be at Winterfell before the next sunrise, forcing Winterfell to immediately prepare for battle. That evening, against John's advice, Sam volunteers to help defend Winterfell, due to his combat experience. Later, after overhearing an argument between Jorah and Lyanna Mormont, Sam provides the former with his family's sword, Heartsbane since it is made of Valyrian steel and will be much more useful in the hands of Gior Mormont's son. Sam then joins Gilly and Little Sam in Winterfell's crypt. However, Sam later decides to participate in the Battle of Winterfell, armed only with two dragonglass daggers. He is nearly killed by a white in the heat of battle, but is saved by Ed, only to watch in horror as Ed is quickly killed by another white. Sam manages to retreat inside Winterfell, but breaks down and cries as the living are slowly overwhelmed by the army of the dead. Fortunately, Arya Stark kills the Night King, saving Sam and other survivors of the battle. After the battle with the dead, Sam takes part in the mass funeral, lighting the funeral pyre with Ed's body on top, and the celebrations at Winterfell. Before departing to fight the Lannister forces at King's Landing, Jon bids farewell to Sam, who informs him that Gilly is pregnant with his child. After the Battle of King's Landing and the assassination of Daenerys, Sam takes part in the trial of John and Tyrion Lannister at the Great Council of 305 AC. Tyrion states that they need a new king to pass judgment and asks the lords and ladies present there to choose one. Sam suggests that everyone in the Seven Kingdoms be allowed to choose a new king, but was mocked for this idea by all the lords and ladies, who found it ridiculous. After Tyrion suggested that Bran Stark be chosen as the new king, Sam was the first one to assent to the proposal. Samwell was chosen as the new Grand Maester by Bran after his election. After his appointment, he assisted Archmaester Ebros with the title of his history book recounting the wars in Westeros after the assassination of Robert Baratheon, which he showed to Tyrion, the new hand of the king, at the first small council meeting. When Tyrion asks what the book states about him, he reluctantly replies that he isn't mentioned. When King Bran arrives and asks if they have heard anything about Drogon, he tries to state that he was last seen flying east of Volantis, but is interrupted by Bronn before he can complete his sentence. After Bran goes looking for the dragon himself with his green sight, Tyrion discusses with him about clean water improving the health of people, based on his experience with the Castly Rock Sewers. Sam tries to inform him about the research done by Ebros on this subject, but is interrupted again by Bronn who sums it up as, the strong live and the weak don't. Tyrion then assigns Sam to hire the best builders for building a proper sewage system and providing clean water to King's Landing. 
When Bronze suggests rebuilding the brothels, Sam is dismissive of the idea.